Let's do it. Look at the human race. I look at it with horror. I'd rather have my arm cut off in this life than have to live their life in the future. In a state of perpetual war, all of my life has been a civil war at its core. I'm already allergic to the problem people seem to have such a need for. The biosphere was a dangerous place. It wasn't rainbows and purity. The only reason I could possibly contrive to want copies of myself would just be pure vanity. When you look at the human race, do you say to yourself, oh yeah, I would take any of those lives over no life at all. It's stealing from Peter to pay Paul. That's all. Vainly. Likening myself unto Proteus. The shape-shifting figure of Greek mythology. Ludite return. Dispositionally repulsive. Absolutely and utterly divorced from value. The most incomprehensible bag of crap I've ever <laughs> listened to. So you're liking yourself to superheroes. Uh, yeah, okay, I can do that too. I have no fortune to leave a kid. I'm not desperate to find somebody's pockets to throw my fortune into. You just can't avoid the scheming that you do. You just can't avoid it. This ugly caterpillar part of it, you know, it's the, the, the shit. The personal level says, yeah, I don't have any personal need to have children. I find myself at odds with almost every single expression of ethics. If this is all he's got, then he's got nothing. What if there was a trail of where we had been? Peace, quiet, nothing. You'd rather be one of them. Is that how you look at most of humanity? There's value in rescuing somebody dispositionally, making people happy. Nothing certainly in the philosophy of ethelism would ever divorce one from value. It's just the factual truth. You can have good days or bad days. You can help them have a good day or a bad day by what you do. It's outside the realm of reasonable perception to imagine the rest of the universe the human and animal life on this planet as being something other than just as real and alive and sensitive as you. The charge goes something like this. There's never been any notion of living a life where you're not taking. The argument is, is that discomfort and the unhappiness is a pre-loaded spring. Most penetrating uh, ephelism is the affirmation of non-being.